Guys, it is I, Jane Poop here, with another brand new playthrough. <laughs> and this time I thought it is best for us to do the classic game on the Nintendo 64, Super Smash Brothers. And yeah, the, the biggest game on the N64 in 1999, and the first Super Smash Brothers installment. Uh, so before you had Melee, before you had Brawl, before you had 3DS and Wii U, and before Ultimate, we had this. Just Super Smash Bros. Though some people like to call it Smash 64, but the proper title is just Super Smash Bros. So, yeah. You can tell, this game is really old, especially on the N64. Um, like, it was the late 90s, so, yeah. So I thought we would do this game then, because obviously it is a cult classic. And um and um oh, I don't know what else to say now, but um But uh what else uh is that uh, for this video, uh, so just like my Super Smash Bros. Melee playthrough, as I did as a child, um, we're going to basically just do the training for all characters that we currently have, and then the unlockable ones after we unlock them, so, uh, option of these, I am on the European version, by the way, so, uh, and I'm playing this on Project 64, uh, so... Okay, so yeah, I'm on Project 64 for this, so, and all that, so, and I'm using the next Xbox One controller. I tried to get my Wii U Pro controller to work with the Wii New Soft, but it wasn't working for me, so, unfortunately, so, so, yeah. So, we have these characters, obviously this is just the uh, main game and such, but we'll do those in the next videos and such. So we have Yep, we have all these. Wanted to do it in the right order, but for some reason the cursor was facing the other ones. Because it goes forward slightly. But yeah, uh, you have your stock models and such. Um, uh, this is basically for classic mode. We have these characters that we cannot select yet. Uh, we're going to have training mode. training mode. And we're going to train different characters. So, if you want a CP player to be someone different, you just click on it and then boom. You can also change the color palettes. Or can we not? Uh, I don't think we can in training mode. Uh, looks like we cannot, so... Like, I, I don't know, but... Uh, uh, anyway, we'll just use Yellow Mario, then. So we're gonna click Start. You can choose the stage, we've got Peach's Castle, Congo Jungle, which is spelled incorrectly, uh, Hyrule Castle, Planet Zebus, or Zebus, 
Yoshi's Island, Dreamland, Sector Z, and Saffron City. Uh, I'm gonna... We'll do it, but we'll test out each location, shall we? So, let's do Peach's Castle first. So, to jump, it's using the control stick up, but I think the C button works as well. Yes, it does. Uh, C up. Uh, so, no matter how you jump, it don't really matter. Uh, a button is just a normal attack, and then the B button is, like, different attacks. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, basically, special moves. Um, so, with Mario, he has, like, this. And if you quickly press jump and then that, you do, like, a special kind of attack. Uh... Which, in the N64 game, it's only, like, quick, but in others, you can hold it and then do, like, a better version of that attack. In Ultimate, you can even hold it for longer, but in this, it's just literally like this. You cannot hold it. Well, you can, but it won't, like, have a stronger version of it. But still... Alright. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. I'm just going to kick him. Um... Oh, he fell. Okay. Uh, we can also test out items, but I'm not going to do that. Now we'll test out the other characters. So, do a Donkey Kong. Uh, I'm just going to have normal Mario now. So that's fair. Then we'll test it out in Congo Jungle. So, with Donkey Kong, um... Yeah, similar moves. You can also, with down and B, we can literally do this hand slap, which is very broken. And do some of these moves, which are completely broken. <sighs> yeah, like that. So, yeah. And then. And then I'm gonna... Ooh, let's slap his face. All right kick him like that. So yeah, we got these basic moves and such. With Donkey Kong, we can also do a punch. PUNCH! Like that! Yeah, we can do that with Donkey Kong. So, now let's test out Link. So from The Legend of Zelda, why not Hyrule Castle? So, with Link, um, very similar, um, in regards to attacks, um, you can do this, uh, you can literally do that, um, with Link, Linky Boy, but yeah, we can literally, um, uh, put our sword on top of the head, up of his head, <laughs> okay, and then, we can do that, throw bombs at them, You can also throw boomerangs. Oh, okay. Ah, so I got the bomb in my hand. I don't know if you can take damage from your own bombs, I'm not sure. But still. Oh boy! Lovely. Okay. Oh, so there's no ways to use a bow and arrow in this game because uh, in other games you can use a bow and arrow as well, but in this one you can't. Which is interesting, considering this is adult Link, not young Link. So, yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Nice! And yes, you can die as well. There, we're going to exit. Now let's test out Samus from Metroid. And we'll do it on Planet Zealous, which is from Metroid. So, again, basic attacks, but with the B button we can do this. So similar to Donkey Kong Punch. And then, after it's charged, we can then BLOW YOUR FACE OFF! And, um... You can drop bombs by down and B. Um, up and B is the screw attack. Um, uh, and then I think we can do I, I don't know if you can do missiles in this one 
It look it doesn't look like you can. So I don't think we can use uh, missiles in this, or even super missiles. So because in later games you can use them. Uh, I don't know if side V is a thing in this game. It probably isn't, but okay. Uh, that's Samus. Now for Yoshi. And we'll do it on the Yoshi's Island stage. Clearly based on Yoshi's story, but oh well. With Yoshi, we can have up B for eggs. We can even lick and we can even lick the opponents and then poop them out with your eggs and all that. <laughs> Look how cute Yoshi is. He looks so cute to be in a fighting game. Ah well, whatever. Whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so, yeah. Uh oh! I died. Alright. Lovely. Ooh. We can also do this. We can also do this. Trying to do it right. Nice. Oh my god. It's like a shotgun. Nice. It's like a shotgun. Alright. Oh, Mario's on the screen. Oh my god. Now let's try out Kirby. So, with Kirby, Kirby's an interesting one. Uh. So we have the basic moves, obviously, again, uh, and all that, but what's interesting about Kirby, not only these moves here, but also stone, I don't think we can use the hammer in this game, though, but we can suck our enemies, and then inhale them, and we steal our moves, steal their moves. So in Mario, for instance, we have the, uh, fire, the fire flower, uh, and it'll be different for different characters, so basically, well, for the normal B anyway, so yeah. Uh, we're gonna press exit. We're gonna try out Fox McCloud from Star Fox. Uh, Sector Z, or Sector Z, however you prefer. Uh, so with Fox, uh, we have, um, these basic moves. We can also shield and gun. But the gun's not really good in this game, but... But they did fix it in later games where the gun is better. Um. <laughs> the R Wing just killed Mario. Wow. Okay. Um. Let's shoot Mario's head. The best part about Fox is this, though. Yes. Fire. Though he says it better. It it's better when he says it in later games, mostly melee, but okay. But, oh uh, well. And we can. I think this shield can sort of be broken. Um, okay. okay. We'll just, uh, just kick him off the. Come on. Oh! Oh boy! Fire! And then. Fire! Fire! Lovely. Fire! Lovely. I don't know why I keep saying fire like that. Fire! Oh, come on. Okay, so that's Fox, and lastly, Pikachu. Uh, no, not Fox. <laughs> Press B again. Yeah, Pikachu, from Pokemon, of course. We're going to Saffron City, which is also from Pokemon. So, uh, with Pikachu, obviously it's electric-themed. Um, so, and all that. Oh, uh, oh, an electrode appeared. Um, yeah, this stage has, like, Pokemon that appears from that door. For some reason, I have no clue why. Um, but yeah, Pikachu could be powerful with the, um... Uh... 
with the uh, electric that he has. Uh, so, you see how powerful that is. Oh god. Ah, I was pressing the wrong button for a start. But yeah. Okay. Oh no! But yeah, that's what Pikachu's like. Ah, I got you, Mario. Ho, ho, ho. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. Oh, no, Pikachu, what is wrong with you? Yeah, you can also... If you, if you time it right, you can literally cheat your way out. So, yeah. There you go. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, Charmander, what, why did he appear? The, the Pikachu, what is wrong with you? Right, please, shock Mario, good boy, and then, um... Oh, no! No, no, no! I wanted you to kick him. And yeah, so that's what Pikachu's like, um... So, yeah. Yeah, let's just have some Storm. But also with a character, um, you can also do a taunt, which I think it's the L button in the N64 game, but in later games it's the D-pad. And in even later games, starting in Brawl, you can even uh, have different taunts. Uh, versus mode, you have that. How many minutes can we have it up to? We can have infinite, wow. Okay. In the stock, we can have up to 99. Uh, time scene, I don't know what that is, but okay. Uh, adjust the screen, obviously, I don't want to though, because it'll mess things up real bad. Uh, so, and then the backup is the newcomers refers to the characters you've unlocked. Uh, one play high score, bonus stage time versus record prizes. On, uh, I think that's the things you won and all data so yeah so yeah you have all that uh, and um, we also have character bios but we'll look at them later uh, so yeah that is pretty much it uh, uh, that's that'll be it for this video so next time on Super Smash Brothers we are going to do a uh, classic mode uh, and see because there's only four unlockable characters and one unlockable stage. So I thought we'll try and get them. Uh, so, yeah. So I should see you guys in the next video, Jane. Peep out. See you guys next time. Bye!